Today we're going to go over the steps and how to set up your YouTube channel. So we're going to talk about the mechanics. You're brand new, you've never set up a channel before, and you can pretty much do it in about 10 minutes. Now if you have no idea what you want your channel to be about, I suggest that you go to my video below that I made yesterday on how to do, it's, a, it's an overview about um, things you want to check off on a list to make sure you're ready to set up your channel. You've got to think about it. Like, what is my topic? What kind of videos am I going to make before you actually set up your channel? Um, if you do it backwards, that's fine, but you might not be able to start getting it rolling unless you think about those items as well. So I do have the link for the video below. I also have the link for the checklist for starting your YouTube channel. And we're going to get started. The very first thing that you need to do is set up a Gmail account, which is associated with Google. And then you're going to type in www.youtube.com and you're going to start your channel. Because when you go there, it's going to say, it's going to recognize that you don't have a YouTube a channel and you'll just sign up and do it. Follow the steps. They're very, very easy. Now, what do I do once I'm in there? This is something that's really neat. Um, once you have your channel, see this little dotted board here, a three by three, open that up. And these are all your um, Google apps, your little icons. So that's pretty cool. If you have a Gmail account, which you will, um, all of these are here for you. So you can go to your photos, you can go to your Google Drive, everything is easy to get to. So you're also going to have YouTube right here. So you can also access it there after you set up your Gmail account. Gmail activates all the apps um, so that um, Gmail can recognize you. And the neat thing is if you open up anything, you don't have to have all these different apps. You don't have to have a bunch of different usernames and passwords. It'll say, do you want to Open it with your Gmail account. Yes, I don't because I can't remember, right? Um, so that's the nice thing about it. That's what I love about it. All right, so first thing you're going to do is we're going to set up your profile icon. So let's get started. We're going to hit YouTube and go in. Now you're going to see my channel because it's already set up. And, but I will take you to these things. And when you go to yours, it'll be blank and you'll fill them in. But I just want to make sure you don't miss these steps. And that's why I want to take you through. When I set mine up, there were a lot of background things that I'll show you today that I was not aware of and I didn't add them till later. And that's why I wanted to make this video for you. Now, once you hit that YouTube icon, this little picture here is my Gmail profile. Okay, so you're going to select that. And I have mine set up to do YouTube Studio Beta. We're going to talk about that in a minute. There's two different um, programs that they use. This is in beta, which means they're testing it and they're trying to make it better before they get rid of the old one. But we're going to actually use the old one still. But you're going to go to your channel because this is where you can make all of the changes. And you're going to hit Customize Channel, okay? Now, when you customize your channel, you have to put a banner on here. And this right here is your little um, profile icon, okay? This does not show up when people look at your channel, but when they um, are searching for you, that's what signs up. I'm My business is called lifewise.com, so that's my little logo, and that's what I put there. You can also put a picture of yourself, but just hit this little pencil and upload a picture or upload your logo. If you don't have a logo, just put a picture of yourself. And then you're gonna go over here and there's a little pencil and you're gonna make a channel, a banner is what they call this. Now, how do you make a banner? You're gonna go over to Canva, www.canva.com, okay? And I'm gonna type in YouTube channel. I think they also call it YouTube art. Yeah, channel art. And when you hit that, YouTube will automatically size that banner the way it needs to be. Now I'm going to give you a little tip. The, the Of all the banners and all the posts and everything you need to make, I, in my opinion, YouTube, that YouTube banner is the hardest thing to make because I'm going to show you what mine looks like and you're going to see how it's really squinched. I'm going to pull it up. Anytime you design something, by the way, it's saved right below. So I'm, I'm going to go down to the one I already made and pull it up for you. And I want you to visually see how I had to really create everything in that little one inch area. See how little that looks? And you'll see, you're gonna save it, you're gonna upload it, and you just have to play with it. But remember going into this, that the channel art is right here 
in this area. So you're gonna play with that and then make sure it fits, okay? But see how big it looks here and look how little it looks in Canvas. So that's a little tip for you. All right, so now what are we gonna do? One thing I skipped, as you're coming in, they're gonna ask you for your name. You gotta remember I set mine up a while ago, so I don't have these steps, but they're going to ask you to name your channel. I personally just named my channel by my name so that people, if they know me from other sources, they can type my name in and it pops up. That seems to be the most common thing that people do is they just name their channel by their name. And then you can like here, um, like my business is LifeWise that's showed on my logo. And then I just have, what am I about? I like to, I help people earn money, save time and find balance. Um, you may find in the beginning, you know, I'm not really sure what my little tagline would be, and that's okay. Just, you can always change it. You're gonna notice people as they grow, the quality of their banner grows, the quality of the videos grow. That's just human, that's just natural. So just put something on there. Be who you are today. Um, I'm a teacher, and that's one of the uh, philosophies that I go with. I always take a child from where they are and take them into a place that they can be better. And in third grade, not every child is this at the same academic level and i that that's my motto just take somebody let let them be who they are and then help them to improve from that point and that's what you need to do for yourself give yourself that grace be who you are today even if you suck i mean who, who determines that and then grow from there and then just keep getting better nobody's perfect you have these big these people that you think that are amazing and they're big gurus, they started out with nothing as well. And they grew into who they are. And some of them have grown into who they are and then sometimes go off in different tangents from there. They, they forget who they are is what I'm trying to say. So be who you are, be okay with that and just get better and don't overthink everything. Right now you're just trying to get started. And again, like I said, this little profile thing here can be changed anytime. If you want to put your picture, your logo, whatever you want to do. Okay, now what we're going to do is go back to about. See right here where it says about? We're going to go there. And these are some of the things you're going to do in the background. And this is where you put your description of who you are. So you've named it right? You, you know who you are now right here under subscription and mine's very simple. I'm here to help you earn money, save time and find balance in your life. It's time to take your life back. That's pretty much what I talk about. Um, I believe that, yes, I want to help people build a business, but I also believe um, that our lives are integrated. Like if we try to just be, I know you have to be focused in one part of your life, but I don't, I, I want people to remember, you can't forget that you're a whole person and you have different areas and try to remember that and integrate everything you don't want to ever try to grow a business like you're on youtube you don't want to spend so much time on this that you forget about the rest of your life and that's not worth it i don't care how much money you make or how much fun you have with it so just be careful um find that balance and that that's kind of what my tagline is and um, i also have here if people need to contact me that's my business email address you do want to eventually get a business email address and not just use gmail or something like that because then again if you're growing a business, YouTube's gonna recognize you as a serious business. If you have Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, something like that, they're not gonna recognize you. And again, uh, you can Google that and figure out how to do that. All right, and these are links down here. These are different, my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Twitter are all linked below, and I can change those at any time. Now what we're gonna do is we're going back to the old channel okay so the best way i'm i can't remember all right this is how i'm going to do it i'm just going to type um, youtube back in at the top i'm going to go back to the beginning and um go back to my profile picture and here where it says youtube beta i'm going there now this is where i upload my videos and things like that but that's not what we're talking about yet. I'm gonna go back and show you how to do that in a moment. All right, so down here, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom and see where it says, yours might already be going to the classic creator, mine is not, because I'm on the new one. Okay, you can see right here, it says creator studio classic, 
this is the one I use to do all this. There's just a couple things I always go back to the old one and then I come back to this, um, the new beta. I go back and forth. Um, and they'll even ask you, why are you going back to the old one? Is there a reason? And you can give them a message and say, you know, this is where I can find all this information. See here where it says chan oh, channel. That's what I'm going under right here on the left. It says channel. And we're going to go into these four areas. And these are all to help you set up your channel. So we're going to go to status and features. And you can see my um, logo is there. My name is there. I have smiley faces. I'm not in trouble. If you copyright status the biggest thing people get dinged on is if they borrow or use music from somebody and there are law copyright laws um i just personally stay away from that because i don't want to get dinged but if you use too many minutes or too much of a a song and on yours that's a copyright um issue and you might end up getting shut down because of it so that that's usually number one when people get shut down now all these things at the bottom you got to decide do I want all these things? Um, you have to enable everything you're going to do. I am uploading. I have my monetization. Uh, I have it enabled, ready to go. I haven't hit the mile markers yet. You have to have a thousand subscribers, which actually that's not the hard part. Um, and you have to have 4,000 hours of views. So that's a lot. And it's actually 240,000 minutes. So you do the math, which is a roughly 20,000 minutes per month. It all has to happen within a 12 year, 12 month period. So if you've had a channel for five years and you you, you hit it, you haven't hit it because it has to be an average of the last 12 months. So anyway, but you can do it. It's, it, it's doable. Just hang in there and then go through all these different things. Okay. Some of them are not available to you because you're not monetized and that's okay. Um, do the ones that you can. Now the next one is called upload defaults and you want to make sure you have your channel set when you go to upload i'm going to show you this right now let me pull the screen down just a little bit okay right here do you see this little plus sign in the video that's how you upload and i'll hit that for you in a moment but not right now because we're going to finish this but what do you want your video what do you want your setting to be when you upload it i do not put mine as public right away because I tend to make three or four videos at a time and then I upload them together and then I schedule them to be uploaded. So I always keep mine as unlisted. The reason I don't keep it as private, private is when absolutely no one can see it. They're yours. So if you have some family videos or something and you want to just store them in here, put them as private. Unlisted means only if you give out the link. So let's say you have a funnel, a sales funnel, for those of you that are in business, and you have a video that you made, or maybe a course that you made. Um, that's when you want to put your course video as unlisted. And when somebody clicks it within your module, only then can they go get it and see it. Okay. Now, if you're selling courses, I do not recommend making them on YouTube because once a person watches that video, you've sold them the course, they go watch it, they can take that link and copy it and give it to a friend and there's nothing you can do about it. But if you do it in a different platform, I think Vimeo is private. Um, I'm going to throw that out there. You'll have to do some research, but if you're selling courses, you don't want to put them on here. Most of the courses I have, I usually give away for free. So I make them on here and I don't care if other people watch them. I don't have a problem with it. You want to pick your category and mine I put under um, education and then your license. Typically, um, creative commons attribution is probably what you are. Now I don't have a title by default. If you want your name or uh, some kind of a tagline on every single one of your videos and you don't want to keep typing it in, then absolutely put that there. The same thing here as description. These are some links that I have and I have a disclaimer at the bottom. This is on every single one of my videos and then I do a description I type above it um, that's more relevant to the video. And I type this I actually type this on a Word document or you could put it in OneNote or something like that. And so when I want to go revise it, then I just go in there and revise my Word document, copy and paste and put it in. So it's just easier because look at this. It's not really easy to um, fix. 
um, tags and my tags are not here. You know, the other day I was looking at this and my tags are gone. So I do have my tags in OneNote. I'll just go in and copy and paste, but these are your channel tags. You definitely want to put some tags in there. Again, I'll come back and put mine back in. I'm glad I came in. I was looking at this yesterday to get ready and must have accidentally deleted my tags. Um, but when you put the tag in, you're going to say, um, health and fitness comma, um, you might say weight, lifting and those are your tags that will go and you just keep putting comments and these are the tags to show people what your channel is about keywords okay all right i have um the rest of this you want to say your language and you can just look at how mine is and either research them open them up or just check them like i have there all right let's go to branding this is important you know how when you're watching a video and there's that little watermark in the left right hand corner i put a watermark there that says to subscribe here and when they click it they can subscribe to my channel some people will put their logo there and it will click right to their website um but this is called branding and you will upload it yours will say that um when you get here mine's already fixed and ready to go i have mine run for the entire video i could just have it um, at a custom start time or just at the end right now i'm new um, I have mine all the way through. Um, maybe in the future when I have 300, 400,000, I might change it, but I feel like I want it there if people, um, cause I'd like things to be easy. And that's really my, my reasoning for doing that. All right. And the last one is advanced. Let's go down there and pick that one. So remember, these are all under channel and they're under the creative studio, the old thing. All right. I take that back. These, um, I made a mistake. Okay. These are the channel keywords here on the other one. Those were the keywords for your video. So if all of your videos are about health and fitness or whatever, there's some general keywords, put those on that one before the reason it was blank. See, it, it, you don't go back into this stuff. Once you set it up, the reason I left it blank, I used to have it set there, but I also found out that when you make a video, you want your title, to be consistent with the first phrase in your description and the first keyword. When you have those keywords set up to be automated, then it's hard. I haven't figured it out how to put a keyword in front of that list, if that makes sense. So I just, I just have my keywords in my OneNote and I copy and paste and put them in the, the main ones. And then the ones that are relevant to the video, I type in fresh and have them at the beginning. That's just the way I do it. And then these are your channel keywords that you want to use here. Alrighty. And then you can um, link to an AdWords account. You have your customer ID and then at the bottom will be your tracking um, number at the bottom if you do AdWords and that's it. Now let's go back up. I told you that there was that little icon where that you could um, upload a video. I'm going to hit it now. I think you can see it. Let's move this down right there. Can you see it up here in the corner? I hit this little plus sign, upload my video. Now I use Camtasia. Camtasia, I save it as an MP4 format. It goes automatically into a folder and then I just drag and drop my MP4 format right here where it says select files to upload. I drag it over or you can click it and it will come in. Now, remember, I always start with unlisted. You can change this at any time right here if you want. And that is basically how to set up the mechanics of your channel. I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to show you how to upload the video because that's a whole nother video. And I don't like my videos to get longer than like 20 minutes because I know your time is valuable. Um, make sure you hit the link below. There's that video for the link for, for beginners. There's a checklist and a list of tools that I use to make my videos. And you can check those out as well. All right. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please ask below and I will get back with you. Thank you.